today's video we're going to be making chicken noodle soup the best cure-all stay tuned some boneless skin this size or a roasted chicken whichever you prefer to do I do this boneless skin this size and with a little olive oil in the frying pan do those first so once you get your chicken going throw it in your frying pan and just brown it lightly not too much you don't have to cook it all the way through it'll cook in the soup you can put a little salt and pepper on it if you wish Best thing is to make sure you have a good pair of sears to trim with. These are Skyline. These are they do cost a lot of money, but they're well worth it. Now you can see we just want to put them to brown lightly. Probably three, four minutes aside. Medium to high heat. Okay, now as you can see, we have our celery that's all cleaned. Our onions are peeled and ready to be cut. The carrots are ready to go. We have some fresh garlic. And the trick for me to do all this is, is this little contraption here. I've had this for quite a few years. It makes life a lot simpler. I'll show you. Stay tuned. All right, as you can see, our chicken is done. We put it on a plate and let it cool. So then we can cut it up. We just brown it just a little bit. Stay tuned. As you can see, chops it up really nice. That's the carrots and celery. Stay tuned. And then there's the three onions and the garlic. Does a great job. So you take, put it into the pot with a little bit of uh, olive oil on the bottom and start the simmer process. Okay, at this point it's time to add the main ingredients here to make this good. We have plus cilantro, we have ground white pepper, tumac, thyme, basil, parsley, coriander, basil leaves, we got two of those, got one out by mistake, oops, and Greek seasoning, a dash of salt. And you want to add that into here, as it's starting to, hopefully you can see how it's starting to cook down, real nice, and that's what you want chicken sitting over here cooling so we can cut it up and be good now when I'm adding these I don't really measure <laughs> I just kind of put a little in it's kind of hard people ask me for a recipe and I just don't, uh, I don't measure. I'm making it so long, I just throw it together. One thing to be careful with is coriander. It can be strong. A little bit of Greek seasoning. dash of salt stir this all up and we're getting there the best thing for you okay so while the veggies are Doing their slow cook down there. Probably want to saute those for a good 15 minutes, probably. Cut your chicken up as big as pieces as you want. You know, if you like a hearty piece. Now remember, this isn't cooked all the way through. As you can see, it's still a little pink.
Man, some of this will cook down and break up. And also, uh, if you did notice, I switched out boards uh, whenever you're dealing with the between meat and vegetables and stuff. I always switch out what your cutting surface is or clean it in between. You want to make sure that there's no cross contamination going on. So basically, I never use the same board just in case there's any critics out there. relatively fast. You know, if you did a whole chicken, you can just break it all up right off the bone. And, uh, you know, throw it in in pieces, or if you need to cut it up. Uh, some people like to use whole chickens. Um, but if uh, you want to cut the process down a little in time, uh, this is the way to go, just to use boneless chicken breast. You don't have to debone it. And uh, you just saute them up a little bit, a little salt and pepper. And uh, the soup does the rest for you. You don't have to bake the chicken or anything first. Although you guess you could go to the store and get a rotisserie chicken. Give it every little piece. A piece of stubborn. Alright. And that's how we cut up the chicken. So we dump the chicken in, stir it up a little bit, boy that smells good, wish you had smell a vision Next, we'll let this cook for a few minutes, and we'll be putting in chicken broth. Alright, now we're going to add that chicken broth. Now I use reduced sodium, fat-free. You can use whatever you want, and you can throw in a vegetable one if you wanted. Uh, and I put about three eggs in. Because what you really want is juice. The reason I put in three is you can get all this juice, lots of juice. Now, at the very, once this simmers, uh, I bring it to a boil, and um, I bring it to a boil, and then, it, uh, then I turn it down to simmer, so we'll kick this bad boy up to high, and I boil it for a few minutes, kick it down to simmer for an hour and a half, two hours, and then we add our egg noodles, or you can add pasta. Stay tuned. All right. Once it comes to a boil, give it a good stir. This is a very simple recipe to do. Take, put your lid back on, cut your heat down to simmer, and let that sucker simmer for the next hour and a half, two hours. The longer you simmer it, the better it is. And then you just decide what kind of noodles you want to put in. So I always use the no yolk extra broad. Um, for one, it's a lot more healthier. They're cholesterol free, low fat, and low sodium. But you can put any type of pasta that you would like in this. It's your choice. Um, but this is a, a definitely a better way to go, a healthier way to go. All right, stay tuned. There's more to come. So welcome back everybody, it has been two hours, just put the egg noodles in, stir that all up, this just has to simmer a little bit, now at this point what you could do, you could add a little bit more juice, 
you want to make sure that you do keep extra um, chicken broth on hand. As you can see, I keep extra chicken broth up in the uh, cabinet here. And what I could su suggest also is um, if you're going to serve this to your kids or something or sick and not feeling well, uh, give them the juice. Keep adding juice to the stock and give them the juice from this. Uh, I did it with my son for years and it makes all the difference in the world. So this is chicken soup. Hope you all enjoy. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've got five bowls that I'm gonna freeze for a later date of homemade chicken noodle soup. Beats Campbell's hands down. Thank you all for watching.